Hi, I'm Dave. Hi, I'm Marie. And we're the Old School Soulmates. And if you're new to our channel, uh, we're a husband and wife team that uh, we both have full-time jobs. I'm in IT, Marie's in banking, and we do this part-time. Uh, we have about 1,800 items listed on eBay and make a little bit of part-time income for our retirement. And we're both over 50. Yeah, but it's fun too. So. Yeah, so anyway. So today we've got a what sold on eBay video for you. So we're going to go through some of the things. We're going to go through about 20 things that we sold on eBay. So we'll let Marie take it away. All right. This first one here is an Orvis shirt. Orvis men's shirts, it really doesn't matter. As long as the, you know, the long sleeve ones, they all seem to sell consistently. You're not going to get super high dollars, but they move kind of quick, actually. So $25, depending on what you buy them for in your area. Uh, they, and we charge shipping on it too. So yeah, four ninety five shipping because most of them can go first class. Some of the Orvis ones, like the flannels, are a little too heavy, but they can go padded flat rate for seven ninety five. But yeah, so these are uh, they always are consistent sellers, and you know they're nice shirts. Okay. This is a pair of SAS men's timeouts. These are actually say right on them what they are, but if you can go, you always look up the the name of a shoe online. The timeout is the men's, the free time is the women's, and but SAS, these walking shoes, the ones that look kind of orthopedic-y, seem to sell better and quicker than most of the others. You'll see a lot of SAS shoes out there, especially women's flats and loafers and this. They don't seem to sell as quickly as the timeouts, the free times, most of the Oxfords, which an Oxford shoe is one that laces up. So. And you'll see these more probably frequently at the thrift stores, won't you, than some of the others no actually you see the others more because people well people really wear these out i mean you yeah. know they they these are expensive shoes guys go to the sas san antonio shoe company's website these are expensive shoes by expensive how much 190 dollars a pair Ooh. new that's a lot that's a lot. yeah that's a lot of money yeah now this is something we've had uh, for a little bit of time it's just one of those things stumbled across in a thrift store was like, I've never seen anything like that in my life. I really couldn't do any research on it because I couldn't find any other listings for anything like this. But this is like a full length wool woven coat. Uh, it's got a lining in it, thank heavens, because you'd scratch yourself to death, but just cream colored. Never heard of one before. So we had it for a little while, but I sold it for $70. Yeah, definitely worth looking up. And it was only four ninety nine, so. This is a pair of Sperry Top Siders. You're going to run into these all the time. Yeah. Uh, you want excellent conditions. Some of the older style ones, sometimes the classic. This is a classic style where you see that kind of fabric around the tongue and the fabric inset on the side. They're, they're much more substantial than the newer ones. The newer ones don't seem to be as thick, but... You know, they need to be in really good shape. Excellent shape. I mean, shape. they got to be perfect. Yeah. I mean, look and, at this one. It's got hardly any wear on it. It's and even this yeah. one's a little yeah. rough, but it because it's it's almost like a vintage one. You know, in a way, this is a women's. Women's don't bring as much as men's, and they still only bring about twenty four ninety five now. They're not. They're slowly falling off the, you know, the price is creeping down. Right. So how can you tell a women's from you, a men's? It's so really, scary, they look really unisex, difficult. They? I mean, it's very difficult. It's more. The size. It's, yeah. Well, I mean, look at the tag on that one again. This one, it doesn't even say. It, you know, it, it, it's almost impossible. I use my foot as <laughs> It's seriously, so I, mean, I mean, the size, if it's, if I it have fits, a size eight foot and, right. you know, and men's, uh, men's shoes look wider, you know, the whole shoe box, the whole toe box area seems bigger, mm -hmm. but okay. I mean, I, I wear an eight, so I'm like right in the middle. So I use my foot to decide, okay. you know, some actually say men's on them though. Okay. This is a shirt. This, this purse here, I bought this at a yard sale. Or an estate sale, but uh, anyways, however you want to word it. But it was actually, uh, yeah, it was like an a moving sale. sale. Yeah, they were moving and yeah, selling and I kind of bought it for me, and I had it for a little bit, and it just wasn't really my style as far as carrying it. You know, um, I like straps you can just wing on your shoulder. But Brahmin is a very, very popular shoe, uh, purse brand. Uh, they have all different different styles. They're all called different things, but they're extremely expensive. 
they qualify in the designer line, you know. But they got to have all their bells and whistles. You got to have the the charm, you know, so forth. And they're you. This is a used bag. It was listed as used. The lining had some, you know, dirt spots on it and so forth. Far from perfect condition. I took a best offer for a hundred and five dollars on this. So what did we pay for this? Twenty five. Twenty. Yeah. She we took paid twenty. Up a little bit because she wanted. And I was the, buying it for myself. She said, "This is a three hundred dollar purse." And, and like, it well, is probably not, but, not at a yard sale. <laughs> yeah, but I was buying it for myself, so I really didn't think about it too much. And it had issues. It had. It's one uh, of those brands too that the thrift stores aren't really on to. Right. They yeah. Don't really. I found one that was yeah. just dogged. I mean, ink stained and everything. Remember that little? It was like a little oh, clutch yeah. on a on a rope thing, and we still got fifty dollars for that yeah. thing, and it was three ninety nine. So keep your eye out. Be on the lookout for if, that one. If they're not totally destroyed to the point of being unusable, grab them. Right. You know, because if you're getting them for a good price, this is uh, Cole Hans uh, women's. These are calf hair. Most of the time, when you find a hairy loafer. I just call them hairy loafers. <laughs> <laughs> it is calf I, hair. I watch him on YouTube. No, that's hairy tornado. Never <laughs> yeah. <mind>. Anyways, <laughs> but it's calf hair, and it's dyed all different colors, and you'll see it on Sperry shoes, and you'll see it on Colon shoes, and different shoes. But it's calf hair, 99.9% of the time. This is just a really interesting shoe all yeah, the way around. Yeah, it is. And Cole Hans can be really <laughs> yeah. interesting. But when you see that tread go up the back like that, it's a driving loafer, you know, when you see that. And that's so when your yeah. heel rests on the floor and you're – Pushing your gas pedal, you don't ruin the back of your shoes. And you don't but, lose your grip, too, I guess. Yep, anyway, exactly. So, anyway. But they were yeah. really, really nice. $59, yeah. though, for a pair of, we paid what? $5.99. $5.99. Yeah, for but they were in beautiful shape. Right. You know, so. Uh, the Keen. Keen's always a solid seller, not super high dollars. Now, Keen boots and men's Keens, because they do well, sell for a little bit higher price. But this is just a Casey, you know, slip-on. These were mine also. And uh, I, they were, I mean, yeah. very $29, inex- yeah, $30, yeah. yeah. They're in good shape and that kind of thing. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah, if you don't have money to go out to the thrift store, look at your closet. Sometimes you might have something in your closet. Yeah, I mean, I I actually bought those for myself, but I have too high a, in the top of my foot instep. Yeah, um, and yeah. here's another key. Those were mine as well. Yeah. And I, my, as I've gotten older, my foot's gotten fatter, so I've moved up to an eight from a seven and a half, so... I said, well, you know, I was going to give them to Goodwill, and I'm like, well, that's stupid. Let me just list them because this is a, one of those favorite, you know, the, the Presidio is like one of the more common ones. And I still got $25 for it, and that was just from my own closet. And I wore these quite a bit. Right. Why do these not bring as much money as some of the other Keens? Because there's some Keens that do bring better Keen money. Boots. Keen bring boots. Keen boots, Keen hiking, yeah. you know, the actual hiking tread, and generally in men's. This is more of a women's walking shoe and just – women's shoes don't bring what men's shoes do in the keen world you know and this is a sony micro cut set you find these all the time at thrift stores a lot of times they're getting a little bit wise to them but they're really generally you can pick them up for a couple of bucks i probably paid like two dollars for this dollar ninety nine two ninety nine and uh, they're, they're micro cassettes. So like the old answering machines used to have micro cassettes in them. Then if you've got an old answering machine tape you want to play, you might want to get one of these. Um, this is before we all had phones in our pockets. You walked, you took this to lectures when you were in college or you used it in business meetings to record and that kind of thing before you laid your phone out. It's about the size of a, of a good size phone and a lot thicker. But uh, yeah, got 29 bucks for it, $2 into 29, not bad. If you're, you know, just a little tip, if you're in the area where you you run into this kind of stuff a lot, compact, you know, compact cassette recorders, these micro cassette recorders, different, that type of hard good stuff, take your time and, and make yourself a little go bag. And in that Ziploc bag, carry... You know, four AAAs, four AA's, a nine volt battery, and maybe a micro cassette tape with a little bit of something recorded on it. You know, possibly just for testing purposes. Yeah, because and and you can use that to test car. almost any kind of mm-hmm. electronics. That'll cover just about ninety percent of the electronics Everything. you find. That, no, yeah. we don't carry big old fat D cell batteries or anything like that. But hey, you've got the space. Do that if you're yep. a person that wants to. You know, you run into a lot of mag lights or something. But that's just a little trick. Every thrift store has plugs where you can plug in electrical stuff, but they don't all have batteries. Obviously, and you can. Not test. everything has adapters and that kind right. of thing. So, yeah, yeah, good good tip. 
Another pair of SAS. This is, again, one of those things that when you look them up, you're going to find out what the name of these things. These were almost brand new. I mean, these were in excellent, excellent condition. Yeah, you can still see the SAS. One thing about the, the SAS is, is that <laughs> the uh, insole. Insole is extremely important in this brand. You can buy replacement insoles. They're close to $30. Um, so you don't want to do that for your shoes. The insole makes, in the, in the consumer's eyes, makes the SAS shoe. It's a tripod insole and whatever. I mean, I take them out and put other ones in of my own, but people are very loyal to that insole. So look for those, make sure they're great, in great shape, not all worn and funky. They yeah. can be washed, but be, get important. But I mean, again, we spent uh, Five ninety nine on these and mm. sold it for forty five. Yeah, yep, forty four ninety five. Yeah, good old Titan sweatshirt here. This is another vintage Titan sweatshirt. We live in Middle Tennessee, so we find a lot of this stuff. And Titans have been here since uh, I think ninety nine or so. So uh, we just almost went to the Super Bowl this year, so it got a little bit more popular. Uh, funny story is the morning of the of uh, the playoff game with uh, Kansas City, which would have put us in the Super Bowl had we won. Uh, we had an offer on us on a Tennessee shirt from somebody in California, yeah. and we said, "Well, let's hold on to it. Let's see if they win this game. Uh, we're probably gonna that shirt's gonna be a little more valuable." Well, they didn't win the game, and the guy didn't uh, didn't take the offer. But hey, whatever. But we sold this one anyway, and it's just a. Uh, just a uh, regular old, I mean, this is probably from, what, the 90s, you think? What does it say? 2001, 2001, right? so, yeah. yeah. A lot of them have dates 90s. on them, yeah. Yeah. Certain ones have dates. Just always yeah. look right around the border and stuff you'll see in, in the writing. Sometimes you'll see where it's, yeah. you know. Another Cole Haan. Another pair of Cole Haan. These, I, you know, I really didn't know how well these sell because they, they these were pretty worn, but they're, very vintage, very classic, I guess. The, these are the older style ones, made in Italy, of course. Um, but yeah, they they were, you know, just I, you know, all I did was just clean them up a little bit, and they sold for forty dollars. This pair of New Balance women's running shoes. Uh, I don't. We very rarely buy yeah. sneakers, but. This particular, you know, I looked it up. You look up the number. New Balance 1123 is generally the higher the number, the more expensive the New Balance a lot of times. But these were in really good shape, you know, and as far as especially the wear on the sole and everything, very little wear. Yeah, had a few scuffs, but nothing major. But yeah. Running shoes need to be pretty close to perfect, yeah. right? And these were six double E wide women's shoes. I mean, a very, very... You know, and, and I mean, I think I got these, these were, did I get these half price? I don't know. But you'll see that they're not, they, they very little wear, you know. Yeah. So, so, and I said, I'll buy them for five ninety nine, and sold them for $35. Right. This is a Walls Ranch Wear shirt. It's, you know, nothing fancy. It, Walls is a common brand. Uh, I don't, nothing special. But it was kind of a neat looking shirt. It had real nice pearl buttons that were black. It had... One of the threads in there is kind of a silvery, a silver thread going through it, but it sold for twenty nine ninety five. Yeah. That's surprising, but again, it's the size two XL. It's the 3XL. size and the style too. If yep. it's it, if this was a little fancier, if it was more westerny, it probably would have brought even more money. Right, but, but those, but, and, but you know, Walls is not a a, a huge brand, no. but it's a very appealing, and the again the size. Yep. If that was a medium, I wouldn't have bought it. Right. At all. I imagine someone was probably searching Pearl Snap when they found this instead of walls. Right. You know, so that's just, you probably. want to put all those keywords in there, yeah. everything, cowboy, western, Pearl Snap, yep. exactly. all those things. Rodeo, long, yeah. Rodeo is another good word yeah. to put in there, especially if it's got the, the piping and the embroidery. Right. Always use Rodeo in there. Right. These are Tevas, common shoe brand. I don't find them very often that are in really good shape like this. I This one was real good shape. I just like it? stumbled upon them, you know. Yeah. And uh it, they were in really really nice shape. It looked like some barely warm. I was really wishing they were my size, but they aren't. But uh, yeah, they sold very quickly. But yeah, if you so. see the 
you know, you see this stuff is still readable. And I mean, the that's like brand new. Good. That's that's a big clue. That exactly. It's, it's looking good. Tifa's not Tifa's a, an expensive shoe to buy new resell reselling wise. It doesn't. Uh, yeah. It, it you know some shoes don't translate in reselling right. is high dollar Clark. We got thirty for that, and we probably paid what three fifty for something yep. with three ninety nine yep. or whatever, probably, whatever they are yeah. now. Yep. Yeah. And Orvis is another men's shirt that's. Just kind of we probably don't really buy them much anymore right unless it's really something no, special like this a, one was like 30 dollars like the first so like the when, first one that i was talking about yeah it's it the orvis if it's got the pocket if it's in excellent condition you you can consistently get 29.95 for this this is a heavier like almost a flannel yeah so and it's, it's an extra weight. large too uh -huh. which helps yeah, yeah no don't go with the smaller sizes this one was too heavy to go first class mm -hmm. so i had to go 7.95 on the shipping but people are really loyal to this brand, really loyal. Yeah. Now, let me tell you, though, the women's stuff does not fetch yeah. very much. But the men's shirts are but, consistently... Yeah, $29, $30, yeah. Right, and, and you know, they there's a lot of vintage Orvis, and they really like the vintage Orvis, too. So, yeah. yeah. We oh. have a ton of these. Different <laughs> Brooks Brothers 1818s. Um, these aren't the 346, which is the outlet size, I, I stumbled upon a, a bunch of them at the thrift store all together because usually if you find one, like if you stumble along one row. I don't think these are the 346, actually. Huh? These are not 346. I said, right. I said, oh, they're not. The, okay. They're not. I see. Yeah. Okay. We don't buy the 346. Yeah, don't buy those. <laughs> yeah. This is the 1818. I'm sorry. I thought you said they were. No, like, no, no. no, no we these don't are the buy 1818 those. Madisons. Yeah. Classic dress shirt. I stumbled upon, I think, nine of these. And they're all together in a big pile at the thrift store, all hanging there, which is usually sad because it usually means somebody passed away and those are all their shoes, shirts. But anyways. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. But go ahead. Oh, and, and you know, so you get them for four ninety nine, and you sell them for 25 yeah. You know. This is something I stumbled upon. It, it was We were at a half price at a Goodwill, so... It was the City Knits, Slinky Knit Top. They were twenty nine ninety five is what I got for it. And I knew nothing about it, so I just looked it up. It was a two piece. And uh it you know, I was surprised that it, it fetched what it did. It took a while to sell though. This is um yeah, because this bigger we, brand. We're using a mannequin here, and a lot of times we don't even. I use a sheet with a hanger most of the yeah. time. This thing so, weighs a ton. Yeah. It's a really heavy yeah, knit of. that I don't even know how to describe it, but uh. Yeah. It, it doesn't wrinkle it just it's great for travel is what that is yeah and what yeah. do we pay for stuff like this i mean 499 499 right yeah. so not a lot of money yeah. and foot joy always consistent seller it's just you're not going to get a ton of money for them. the jackets and the and things like that seem to bring a little bit more than like a polo shirt the polo shirts you're not going to fetch a lot of money for but um, these pullovers like this, the windbreakers, the jackets, and so forth, they, they do bring decent money. Right, I mean, and if you're not familiar with Foot Joy, it's a golf brand. Yeah. So you want to, you wanna, I mean, they make golf cleats and that kind of thing. Everything. You'll see, you'll see a lot of Foot Joy golf cleats. And you'll see a lot of Foot Joy polos and golf shirts. And, and it's conditioned with all that stuff. Yes. It's got to be brand new, spanking new. Nobody's yeah, going to go out on the golf course and a pair of beat up we shoes. We just got a pair of, uh, I just got a, like a Foot Joy jacket that the sleeves zip off. It turns into a vest. It's yeah. reversible. Very it's cool. a bells and whistles. So, yep. So that was, most of that stuff we get for 4 or five ninety nine. dollars yeah. sold it for 50 Yeah, that's a good one there. Yeah. And last but not least here today, we have a GE Portable Mini Compact Recorder. Now, this is different than the first one we looked at. The other one had the Mini Micro, uh, micro yeah, Micro Cassette, which is the Itty Bitty Cassette. This is the full-size cassette that you could play on these. Um, people buy these for all kinds of different reasons. They've got a bunch of old cassettes they want to burn off to, you know, about the only way to do it is to play the cassette into, you know, into your computer and record it that way. If you want to record old cassette stuff, I mean, I think it's easier to buy the MP3s myself, but, you know, whatever. I've got a box of cassettes up there, too. But, yeah, I mean, it's just uh, just a basic tape recorder. 
these things, this one, $14.95, they don't sell as well as they used to. They used to be a lot better, but it depends on the brand, too. This is a GE, and it's, if it was a Sony, it might be a little better. It's usually a better brand, Panasonic, something like that. But, but, but always uh, remember, test it yeah. before you buy it. Open the battery compartment, look at it, make sure it's clean in yeah. there. And I took a picture of that to be to, to, to that point. You see, there's the Spotless. bad people will put batteries in these for 40 years and they'll corrode and cr and eat up these little little knobs on the end. I mean, these little whatever you call contacts. these things here, contacts here, and uh, you know. So, so this one was Pristine. well taken care yes. of. So that's why we bought it. We probably only paid a couple bucks for it too. So. Yeah. So, well, if you like what you see here, please subscribe to our channel um, and also uh, give us a thumbs up if you like this content. Leave us a comment. Tell us what your find of the week was. We'd love to hear from you. And, and if you got any questions that we could help you with, sure, drop them in there. If you want to see something on a video, drop that in there. And until next time, we'll see you later. Thanks for watching.